In this video, we're gonna be using Barrister's Reserve Classic and we're going to put the Orin Razor up against the Enoch. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and as mentioned before, today we're gonna to use Barrister's Reserve Classic, which I believe in scent is a take on the old Gillette uh, Sun Up. It has a nice classic vibe to it. We'll show you the notes right there or the way it's described. Um, a lot of these vintage scents remind me uh, sort of of Old Spice. It's not exactly like it, but it's reminiscent of. Scent strength on this one is firmly in medium. It's got an interesting color to it. Very, very soft. If you touch it, it will transfer onto your finger. So it is a very, very soft soap. Uh, good quality soap as always. This is the bare, the reserve base, which is quite good. Uh, this is $17.99 for four ounces or $4.49 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a fair price. We'll show you the ingredients right there. It is a tallow-based soap. Nice packaging uh, on this. I love Barrister Man's uh, tubs. Always have great labels, always good quality stuff. And this one we expect to have a great result with today. We're also gonna be using the Orin Razor, which is an Artist Club style razor by Occam's uh, at Classic Shaving against the Enoch Razor. Both are loaded with feather professional blades. Both have the same amount of uses on them for each. So it should be interesting to see how these shave one versus the other. The Orin, by the way, which I have right here, is $109, three sixteen stainless steel made in the US and it comes with three different settings. There are three dots there, which, which is the most aggressive. It comes with one plate that has one dot. It's the least efficient and then a two and then the three, which is the most efficient. The Enoch here, currently retails for $149, or at least that's the price as of the date of recording on Classic Shaving. 316 stainless steel made in China. And again, this one made in the US, this one made in China. The fit and finish on this one, if you look close, is, is not really all that great. This one is pretty decent, although the fit and finish on the Occam's razors generally aren't the best, but they're plenty good enough. So, all right, let's get into it so we don't spend all day here flapping. This is just plain water in a mister and we'll get going. We have almost 24 hours of growth today and let's get right into it. We have our Captain's Choice Bowl. Uh, today's brush is the AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series. I think they call it amber but to me it looks you know kind of like butterscotch. We have a nice lather, nice creamy lather here with our Barrister's Reserve Classic and we expect to have a really nice shave today. This is a good quality soap. Uh, as I always say when I use Barrister Man, I've never had a bad um, bad soap in terms of quality from Barrister Man. Now their fall scents, I don't really care for most of them. Not all, but most. Uh, but a lot of the other scents, and especially this uh, Reserve line, which are uh, a lot of classic scents are just terrific. The Barrister Reserve, if you like classic scents, um, it's really, really good stuff, I think. All right, we've done enough here. We don't need to spend all day lathering. You can see, hopefully, you can see uh, the sheen on that lather. Man, good enough. Let's put that to the side. Cut that down just a little bit. And we'll be off to the races. And I will use the Enoch on the right side of my face here. We'll start out with that. And then we'll use the Orin on the other side. And uh, the Enoch here is a good Artist Club style shaver. The problem for me with this razor, out of $149, it's it's within striking distance, excuse me, of the Blackland Razor's Vector at 200. And I would definitely, if I were going to spend 149 or spend that much, I would just, I would do one of two things. I would either save 50, save 50 more dollars and just get the Vector because I think the, the Vector is the best Artist Club um, safety razor ever made, in my opinion. Or I would probably go down and uh, not spend as much and get like the Hawk, which you can, or the Hawk version three, which is around, what, $69 or so. Um, because this is a nice razor, but again, um, the fit and finish is not very good and it's mild and with the Hawk, for example, you can get um, different plates so to sort of hit that efficiency you like. 
This is a mild razor, but it is a good shaver. But I think it's probably priced a little high for what it should be in the, for the finish it has on it. That's just my opinion. Now here we go with the Orin. And immediately, because the Orin has that floating blade design, you hear a lot more feedback right out, right out of the gate. And I think I prefer the shave the Orin provides because it does have more blade feel, and I like that. And at $109, I don't think it's a, it's a bad value necessarily. I'm gonna go against it, try to cut that little piece of the <laughs> bump off there. Um, it's it's lightweight, feels to me lighter in the hand. I don't know how much lighter it is. I didn't write the weights down, but it uh, feels good. I'd say both of these razors can be a little fidgety on the loading. So if, if, you're, if your dexterity is challenged, it might, uh, it might prove to be a little frustrating, but both are also good shavers. But honestly, at 149, the, the Enoch, um, this razor, and I might confuse the names today. So if I do, I, when I'm uh, editing, I'll, I'll put a caption there to try to get it right. But the Enoch at 149, I think is not the greatest value. That's just me. There are some people who really love that razor. That's okay. I'm not uh, crapping on the razor. I think it's a good shaver, but I just think you could probably do better for that money or add a little bit to it and get a really good razor or one that's really efficient. That for me is, is sort of where it, it is. The, uh, the vector is a lot more efficient, which is what I like. And I think the, the Orin is, is more efficient as well. And so I, I prefer it right out of the gate. Now, at the end of this shave, it's probably gonna come out great on both sides because as I say so often when I do these comparison shaves, you will adjust, if you're an experienced shaver, you will adjust to whatever razor you're using. If you feel more hair, you'll do more strokes. And essentially, it tends to come out even for me because I've used a ton of razors over the years and you just make adjustments to the razor on the fly. You don't even think about it. You adjust. If you have to make a few more strokes, you'll make it. And so that's why the the result often comes out um, pretty close to even. Both of these, like I said, are good shavers. So from that respect, no problem. Both of them are good shavers. I think uh, I think the Orin, I'm happier with that shaver at $109, which is what it currently uh, is selling for, at least the black version. Sometimes they have different colors, by the way, and they're different prices, so please keep that in mind. It might not be exactly what I'm quoting today. I'm quoting you the prices that I see today on the Classic Shaving website, which is where you get them. And I will link all the products used today below. So the scent on the, the Barrister, Barrister's, Barrister's Reserve Classic, really nice classic scent, good quality. As I often say, there's there's absolutely no reason to avoid a soap that's been around this long, many years as Barrister Man has been around. Their quality is always good. I hear some people say they don't like the Excelsior base, and I really don't have issues with it, nor this one. To be honest with you, nor any other um, formulation that Barrister Man has ever put out. Um, on sense, it can be hit or miss, but on quality, I've never had any quality issues with the Barrister Man soap. That's just been, been my experience. Okay. On the other side here, we're using the Orin. And again, I can certainly feel more blade, which I like. You may not. If you want the milder of the two, the Enoch would certainly be, uh, if you don't like a lot of blade feel, it might be your preference. But for me, The Orin here, I think I appreciate the shave a little better. I just like the feedback I'm getting, the way it feels. A little more feedback because the blade isn't clamped. The blade isn't clamped down tight between two plates. It sort of fits in there and there's some notches that come down there and hold the blade. Kind of like a potato peeler is what it looks like. But it shaves well. 
assuming you have a good blade. And a lot of people will ask when I use Artist Club style razors what blade I'm using. Almost always it is Feather Professional, which is sort of their standard uh, blade. They do have the Super, which is thicker and has a little more exposure to it. And they have the Guard, which is supposed to be a little less, um, not less efficient, but you're supposed to be less likely to cut yourself because it has some ridges on, on the blade. Good quality soap here, by the way. No complaints whatsoever. Really nice classic scent. To me, again, many of these classic soaps are reminiscent of Old Spice. And this one, too, is reminiscent of Old Spice. That's the sort of realm it's in. It's not exact, of course, but it's reminiscent of. And as you can see, really nice lather. No problems whatsoever. What I'm trying to do is sort of speed up this lathering a little bit because you don't need to sit here all day and watch me flop this brush around. <laughs> you know, you get it on your face, it's going to be slick. Um, and it's going to do what it needs to do to provide that platform for the razor to glide on. Okay, that will be enough right there. We'll call it. Sometimes people really uh, take a long time um, lathering because it's fun. It's not because it's necessary. Um, it's because it's fun. So... If you see a guy who's building his lather and he's taking a lot of time, he's just enjoying himself. Don't get the idea that it's going to take you 45 minutes to do a traditional shave because someone's been five minutes on lathering. It, it's not. It's just fun. And if it's fun, why not enjoy it? But also, at the same time, I am uh, I try to be respectful of your time. So I try to take a little parts out that aren't... Um, a value. For example, when I do my rinse, I cut that part out. Now, I don't cut any of the actual shave out. And if I cut myself, you know, I'll show it to you. I don't cut any of that kind of stuff out. I just cut the rinse out. And I make the lather off cam to save a few minutes. But I always post tutorials below of uh, how I make lather. And I do that the same way all the time with some slight adjustments depending on the base. Some soaps now are so soft that if you add quite a bit of uh, water to them early on, they'll just sort of break down, I'm finding. I had no problems with the reserve base today in that regard. Even though it's very soft, it came along rather well and easily. So no problems with that. So the Enoch there, good shaver. Absolutely good shaver. I just think the finish is kind of yeah, meh at best, but good shaver. The Orin here, we'll do our Orin side. Quite a bit more blade feel on the orange side, um, which I like. It just, it gives me feedback and I can feel the hair being cut and you can also hear it. And so it just gives you another point of reference and you'll know if you're hearing a little more feedback, do more strokes. And so I, I find that to be helpful. Very nice, very nice indeed. And I might try to polish the uh, Enoch to see if I can improve that finish a little bit and see what happens. But it has a lot of uh, like marks in it. Like uh, it's got a brush finish, but the brush marks are pretty significant on it. If you were to look at it up close. And so I don't know if shining up will make that look worse or it'll make it better. I just don't know. So I'll either try to shine it up and see if I can improve that finish or who knows? But it's a good shaver, as is this one. But I can tell you right now, even before we get to the end, if I were to pick only one, I think the better value is this one. It has a better finish, although not perfect. It comes with three different levels of aggression that you can put on, um, and it's made here in the U.S., and it's cheaper. 109 versus 149 as of today. Again, keep in mind, classic shaving runs sales and stuff, so... Sometimes these razors will be less expensive and also sometimes different colors. The black one might be more expensive. They might have the, the orange even cheaper at times or even the other one. So you sort of have to keep your eye out on classic shaving if you're interested in any of these, uh, any of their safety razor offerings. But it was a good shave on both sides. We'll, we'll feel it when we get back. Stay tuned.
And all right, we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then applied our alum no stinging. So that was a super smooth shave. After that, we did a cold water rinse, toweled off with our Lancaster towel, and then applied our Thayer's. This is cucumber, watermelon, witch hazel, magic, because it's made by witches. When I was applying the Thayer's, I was feeling my face uh, really close and the Warren side came out just slightly better than the Enoch, but it was it was so close that I'd really call it a draw. Both of these are nice shavers. This one feels more robust than the hand. It has more weight to it. The build feels better. The fit and finish isn't as good. This one on the three plate brings a little more efficiency to the party. This one $109 as of the date of this recording. This one $149. If I had to choose only one, it would easily be the Orin. It's a better shaver for me, has a little bit better finish, and just overall, I think um, it's just more enjoyable for me to use. Both are good shavers, though, so there we have that. We use the Barrister's Reserve Classic today. Excellent quality, excellent vintage scent. I really enjoyed it, and we will close it out today with the Vintage Sun Up Aftershave by Gillette. And I think this goes back to the 60s. I'm not sure. Um, somewhere... Thereabouts. Oh, I forgot to mention our AP Shade Co. Handcrafted Series brush with, um, that is a cashmere knot, and of course our Captain's Choice ball. So let's get out a little of the sun up, and we're going to be off to the races today and having a fantastic Monday. And wherever you are, I hope you have a great day today as well. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you again here soon. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.